everyone. So for today, we will be having our breakfast at the Nostalgia Dining Lounge located on the 6th floor of the Joy Nostalgia Hotel and Suites Mall. The Nostalgia Dining Lounge is known for its nostalgic ambience with their French-inspired interiors and 60s photo displays on their walls. They also offer an array of international and Asian cuisines. Compared to the Fairmont Seven Corners buffet area, this one is a little bit smaller, but personally, I prefer it to be like this one. So I will not be tempted to get many foods that I will not be able to eat. Like what you mostly see on typical breakfast buffet, you will be able to see pastries, breads, assorted nuts, and dried fruits if you prefer to eat that in your breakfast before you go on to the heavy meal. They also have different kind of spreads or jams like the honey, the mango jam, the strawberry jam, and many more. But for me as a typical Asian, I will not be able to fully start my day without eating rice and I also got some beef salpicao and hash brown for my breakfast. As for the rice, you can have the option to choose between their garlic rice or steamed rice but I personally pick the garlic rice. They also have congi or lugawin Filipino which is popular for breakfast here in the Philippines. And you also have pork shomai, steam buns, and the turkey hack. Join us the joyless lunch. Um, sixth floor. This is where um, their breakfast, lunch, and dinner buffet is. So I have already showed you guys um, how is the ambience here, how's the buffet, and what I get or I got for my food. So this one is a little different because I didn't really pick what I normally pick in a buffet, like what I pick in the fair buffet so i pick um steamed buns for show pao. i also got hash brown katsuri plain rice um, beef bulgogi and turkey with pineapple sauce so this is what um i'm drinking right now i actually have three drinks here with me actually four so i have here my vitamin so so for my second drink, I have here my water yeah, because I can live without water. So I have my water. I have here my hot chocolate. Yeah, and of course I have here my yakon. But every day, okay. So this video just not sponsored by Veruca and Veruca. But if you guys want. Anyways, I'm done eating the hash brown, the chocolate, the rice. I already drank my vitamin C. And now we'll taste the beef bulgogi. The beef bulgogi is like the Korean version of tapa. Excuse me, I'm perfect. Beef tapa in the tapa. Beef tapa in the Philippines. Mm. Mm. It actually tastes the same like the beef tapa. What only different is that. It's more sweeter. It's a Korean dish. I'm so sorry, guys, if you guys were not able to see my plate. I'm not having white really good. But I appreciate the view, I appreciate my background, I appreciate my orange shirt, and I appreciate my face too. <laughs> You know, I'm not really a morning person, but I really try to wake up early, have breakfast, do makeup. So it's what you call the detention. <laughs> so I'm now done with the beef salpicam. So we'll move on to the turkey. I think it's my second time eating turkey. 
So, um, it just looked like a normal hat for, for, for events like Christmas or something like that. This one is a third piece. I know, right? Please make a I'm just trying to to do to, to think of what's the difference between this third and the pork ham. Oh yeah, pork ham. Is it a pork right? Yeah. Don't know what's up this pork ham. I personally loved all of their food selections. You know, I know it's really quite um, few compared to the Fairmont Seven, Seven Corners, but I personally loved it. And Kath and Shannon also noticed that I was able to finish all of my food. And um, their breakfast starts at 6 a.m. up to 10.30 a.m. So we went down for around like 9.30 am because you know we're not really morning persons but still we were able to really enjoy their food options and their breakfast buffet so we are here at the 43rd floor and uh, join us at um, Hotel and Suite. We're in the roof is located. So it's an open space, a small open space for grilled food, um, beverages mostly. It's commonly for night out. So it offers um, some grilled food like sausages, um, snacks that is perfectly partnered with um, drinks like alcoholic drinks and of course not alcoholic mm -hmm. drinks and beverages. So behind me is the Twin Tower along the Edsa. So the background is really good. You will be able to really see the Edsa buildings and of course the skyline and it will be really more appreciative or you guys will be able to really appreciate the surroundings at night. Of course, you need to have your reservation here if you're not really um, staying in the Joy Nostalgia. But you guys can still go up here and book your reservation. Our orders are already here. So we have the chicharong polaki. And of course, we have the cheese tempura. Ah! <laughs> cheese Hi everyone! So for today we ordered crispy pata. Ta da! Yeah. Crispy pata and lechon, kawali, and pinakpet. So these two food are all Filipino and local dishes that you guys can order in their menu. So together with crispy pata, they have also given us suka. Then you go in English with um with onion that is perfectly partnered with our crispy pata. And of course, as Asian and Filipino, we have ta da the rice. So in our Fairmont um, vlog, we have been tried ordering um, food from their menu and to the hotel room. So this will be like our first time to feature this food in our vlog. So let's go. So let's go try first our crispy. 
Ada. Yeah, if you guys have high blood, crispy pata is not advisable for you. But if you do eat maintenance or take maintenance, it will be good. So I have here the vinegar and the crispy pata. Actually, uh, for my opinion, all crispy pate does taste the same. What makes it really different from other, from each other, is the vinegar. So the vinegar is is good and perfect with the crispy pate. And um, our food just arrived like a few minutes ago, but it's still crispy, which is really good. And um, I think the only downside is in the vinegar it's not that spicy well I am aiming for like spicy vinegar because it really adds appetite it's add it adds more in the appetite but anyways the crispy pata is good oops so the crispy pata is 950 pesos in the menu together with the garlic um, vinegar or vinegar with garlic whatever you guys call it so let's go move on with our lechong kawali and pinak bird. actually lechong kawali is a different um, cuisine or different food but it is mostly par partnered with um, lechong kawali because you know food and vegetable I mean vegetable and crispy kind of pork really match well with each other so let's go on and taste our pinakbet so i'll get okra first and kalabasa or pumpkin pumpkin Ta -da! Hey. so lechong kawali is part of pork yeah, wherein the skin is crispy, so it is cooked in kawali. <laughs> so it's called the kawali. So to those of you who doesn't know, pinakpet is a local Filipino food or cuisine, wherein um, it. It is composed or consists of different kinds of vegetables like the pumpkin or the kalabasa, the okra, the ampalaya, um, talong or eggplant, um, kamatis, and you guys can add different kinds of um, pampalasa in your pinakbet to make it really taste better. So what I noticed about their pinakbet here in the in the Joy Nostalgia um, hotel and suite it's like um, they have bagoong which is um, seafood paste in in English or mostly like bagoong and I can also really taste the empalaya but it's not that bitter so it's all good for me so you guys can order the lechong kawale and pinakbet for 650 pesos here in their menu in the joy nostalgia hotel and suites Manila. So this is our dinner for our day one here and uh, that's my review and hopefully you guys like it. So we're just gonna go eat dinner and I'll see you guys later. Bye!